And welcome to another episode of Here You Get Tarada, Diaries of a Master Sushi Chef. Razan, how are you? Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon to you. Very beautiful weather. Yes, mm -hmm. I want to show the beautiful weather here in Miami. Yeah. It's in the high 70s, and this is wonderful for November. Yeah, Almost it's Thanksgiving. Time to season in Miami. Yes, and no happy. humidity. Right, and no humidity. Can a little bit of cooling down. It's the best of play. Right. You know? Nice, nice time. Mm. I want to wish everyone a very happy Thanksgiving. By the time you see this video, it will mm. just have passed. So, right. hope everyone had a wonderful turkey day. Mm. We have another great episode, Hero. What are we doing today? Today, we have a... Here is like golden crab. Golden crab. Golden crab. Right, it's about the golden crab. I'll just give a little history of it. It's golden because of the color. It's usually tan or cream in color. It's found in depths of about 200 to 1500 meters mm. in water. <laughs> found in the tropical west from the Atlantic, basically from the Gulf of Mexico to Brazil. And it's a bottom dwelling uh, crustacean and basically it's diet is mollusks and worms. Mm. <laughs> so, Hiro, yeah. are you ready? This is what you like to eat in one of yeah. your favorite Chinese restaurants, right? Exactly, Silva Pares, my yes. favorite place. But, unfortunately, I only ate it twice. But oh, because okay. after that, they don't have all Yeah, they're hard to come by. You know? Just let everyone see the price here. This was about uh, thirteen seventy nine. The mm -hmm. price per pound is nine. Um, yeah, about eleven ninety nine, and it's one point one five. So okay. almost $12, twelve dollars per pound. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So hero, you've done something like this similar to the lobster. Yeah, similar to the start. So first, I'm gonna do uh, yeah, open up this one, and then I'm gonna put the cornstarch and fry it up. Yeah, hero. Like Yes. Sure, sure. And then uh, I know uh, your favorite parts. But then after you're gonna, I'm gonna mix with uh, all the ingredients in here. I just realized something. Where we bought it from, and people are gonna say, "Oh, you can't eat females." You know what? We buy it from a store. Mm. Here, we turn it around. Look at the, uh, uh, yeah, look at this. The apron. That looks like a female to me. You know that? Mm. Yeah, the large one. Yeah, the large one. The apron. This is a female. Now, we didn't ask for it. We just asked for golden crab, and that's what they brought mm. us. So. Even they have a blue crab today. It's a apron is a big one. Yes, a small one. A lot of females, mm -hmm. right? Maybe Florida states is maybe different. Maybe or something. I don't know. Maybe this I isn't like the Dungeness where mm. Dungeness was about five dollars more per pound. Mm. Is this alive? Very alive, hero. Yeah, it's alive. Once I, you touch this one, see, it's gonna be more. Are there eggs on there? Aggressive. Yeah. Looks okay. like an alien, right? I'm Looks like an alien, like a, a face hugger. Like a, yeah, that one. <laughs> Last time everyone said, oh, you don't know it was a face hugger. You know what? I knew what he was talking about. I was just letting Hero speak. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Hero. Okay, the first so step. So, first step, either we're going to start the vegetable or crabs. But let's just start the crabs. Okay. I'm going to crack in the crab first. Now, I guess, where are you going to start the dispatch? Where would you cut it? Uh, I'm going to do uh, uh, this one. I'm going to do both this way. On the center, huh? Yeah, center all the way, all the way down this way. Okay. Now actually, just only I'm going to all the push into. It's right. not all going down to. Okay. Okay. Let me uh, get a better view. Perfect. Ready? and the gear. Okay. And if you guys hear that noise in the background, they're doing some landscape Hold across on. the street, so apologize for that. Some more. Okay. 
So legs, is, I guess for the claw, there's a little meat in there, but the rest of the legs doesn't look like there are a lot of them, a lot of meat. Next step is uh, vegetable parts. I'm going to add a scallion and a garlic and a ginger. First one, I'm going to start with the ginger. Now that you're going to put the scallions in the dish, do you need to wash them, Miro? I mean, I know they come pre-washed already, but what's your opinion? A lot of people say, hey, you didn't wash the scallion. Remember that whole debate? Yeah, but this one is clean. Actually, I washed it earlier. As I say, what well, won't kill you will make you stronger, so. Ginger, garlic, and scallion. 
Then I'm gonna use a sake, a little bit of honey, soy sauce, and sesame oil, and uh, sambar. <laughs> and one thing we want to mention, the honey last time hero for the lobster. Oh yeah, I forgot to. It was an option. Honey. Yeah, yeah, but we decided not to add it at the end. So, okay, perfect. The next step next is... Step, we're gonna do fry up the... Uh, crab. Our beautiful golden crab. Yeah, golden crab. Okay. Oh, this is a little cornstarch in here. Yeah, put the cornstarch a little bit. The reason why he writes cornstarch is that when he puts in the saute with all the different sauces, you can actually hang on to the crab itself. It gives like a coating. Yeah. If you just saute it alone, obviously the sauce is not going to stick to it as easily. Yeah, that looks like a face hugger here. Right. With a claws. <laughs> Still moving. Still moving. 340. 340? Okay, yep. let's go. Let's start. Perfect, right? Yeah. Okay. I think uh, it's got to be splashing, so okay. I'm going to put in a little by little. You can try this at home. Just one thing to be careful when you're frying. Yeah, especially this crow and the water inside. Right. So it's going to be maybe bang, explosion. There you go. Now, how many you fight for you? I just go all, all, all four ways. Like sixty uh, percent. Okay. So, Oh, it smells really good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, right? I know there's no seasoning on it. it smells great though. Yeah, by the punch. Be careful, be careful, be careful. the process is finished so let's start to put all the ingredients together okay in the wok in a wok and we mm. bought this wok from an asian market it was about twenty dollars it's a non-stick wok so it's not traditional most woks are made out of steel stainless mm. steel i've seen them in regular like steel so uh if you at home want to walk yeah. it's got a flat bottom so if it's mostly on a stove it's going to be balanced you don't have to worry about wobbling around which is great okay you know. the oil a little bit Okay. Ancient Chinese secret, the wok must be very hot. That's mm -hmm. what they say. Temperature gun, temperature gun. Temperature gun is, I'll put it back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to check, check temperature gun. Okay. What's the temperature of that surface? Yeah, already cool. Right, let's go. Okay. What's the temperature? Uh, almost 350 over. Uh, 437, so it's 437, gonna be, wow. It's going to be a little hot, too hot. Tell you. Okay, so ginger garlic first. Okay.
put it in the socket. Okay. How's the action? How's the clipping action here? Yeah. It works good when you move it. Mm -hmm. It's nice, beautiful. Because this material is a bit lighter. So right, that's true. Very easy to handle. You know? Yeah, so it's some kind of composite. Yeah, sambal. Sambal, got it. Love sambal. And a beautiful and golden print. Okay. Oh, it's wonderful. Okay. And uh, soy sauce a little bit. And then a little bit of honey. Wow, that smells really good here. Amazing. A little bit of sesame oil. Okay. That's it. Wow, that's it, huh? Amazing. Wow, Hero, let me tell you what. Fun and easy to do dish. Easy. You guys can't find the golden crabs, use blue crabs. Blue and crab. worst case scenario, if you can't get any crabs, try some. Sure. Everything else you can find fairly easy at your local supermarket. Maybe the sambal or maybe some challenge, but maybe some kind of hot sauce with garlic would work perfect. Look at how beautiful this dish looks. Amazing. Seriously, this is smells so wonderful. The aroma, unbelievable. Wow, you know, I have to say, you guys at home, again, a must-try dish. Hero, thank you so hey, much. Thank you very much. See you guys, next time. Like, see you next time. If you guys like this video, please yeah. give it a thumbs up, comment below, share it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for spending some time with us. Thank you See you soon. The best hey. part of this dish hey. is... Hey. Okay. The tasting part. Mm. Are you ready? Ready. I think this part is good. The aroma like on this crab yeah. with everything smells so good. Nice. Okay. Nice. Okay, take a mass. Oh, look at the orange part. The yeah, orange part. I think those are the eggs, right? Or the yeah. fatty part. It's really, really good. Mm. Not too, not too spicy anyway. Yeah, sambal is really a nice balance between garlic and spice. Mm. How is it? That's pretty sweet. Use the ham. Sweet and a little spicy. Mm. Mm. Good? A little bit spicy. Okay. <laughs> Nice. Very good. Well, I can't wait to try it myself. Mm. Putting this camera with two hands doesn't allow me to, but believe me, I'm going to when we get off air. Mm. Enjoy, Hero. Thank you very much. Thank you.